Front-end development today? It's not making websites pretty. It's surviving a tech stack that mutates every six months while product managers expect TikTok-level UX in two sprints. You're not just writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript anymore. You're juggling React, TypeScript, Tailwind, Webpack configs that break for no reason, and APIs that weren't documented since the Cold War. Oh, and while you're debugging why a flex box won't align, some AI tool just promised to replace you with one click. Every client wants Apple-level design but with a budget that can't even buy you a new MacBook. The real truth? Frontend has become the battlefield of modern tech. Everyone touches it. Users, designers, PMs, execs, and everyone has an opinion. That's why it's bloated. Frameworks are built to solve yesterday's problems, not today's chaos. AI code assistants? They generate 80% of your UI, but you still spend hours fixing accessibility, performance, and the UX nightmares it spits out. This isn't front-end dying. It's front-end absorbing every punch the industry throws. Back-end devs can hide behind APIs. But front-end? You're exposed. Users don't care if your database is perfect. They rage quit if a button feels laggy. That pressure means companies are desperate for solid front-end engineers, yet they'll happily toss junior devs into the fire with just use no-code. The rise of AI and no-code isn't killing front-end, it's raising the bar. If you can't design for real users, think mobile first, and optimize like a beast, you're done. The future of front-end isn't easy buttons or one-click site builders. It's devs who can bend complex stacks, tame AI outputs, and still deliver a seamless experience humans actually enjoy. The tools will change. The frameworks will age out. But the demand for devs who get front-end reality? That's permanent. The flashy tools are temporary. The grind is forever.